trying to uh, turn off my music, everybody. Today, oh, come on, watch. Haha, ah, the 20 something. Ah, a lot of gravel in the braking zone. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. Um, the spider's a little different when you come across gravel like that. All I have to do is get on the brakes, but I was going a little too quick. And, um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that gravel, but we've had tons of rain. As you can tell, it's another great Ohio day. This is, uh, we get a lot of these. Uh, but this is a pretty... <laughs> so, <laughs> there's different shades of, uh, gray nasty clouds. <laughs> and this is, uh, this would be considered a pretty bright, cloudy day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Only in Ohio. Only in Ohio. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I'll get a little personal, I guess. Man, there's a ton of gravel. Like I said, a ton of rain, and it washes all the gravel out of the little back road. It just gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I've lived in Ohio pretty much my whole entire, well, my whole entire life. And, I don't know, I'm 47 and uh, the more I get out and see other states, man, I come back to Ohio and I'm just like, Ugh. just because of this, um, I think I mentioned it before, we get like 280 cloudy days or some crazy crap like that. Um, and that's from Columbus, Ohio, and I live in Lancaster, so you're talking 25, 30 miles difference. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So hopefully one day, um, not that I want to put Ohio behind me, but I, I would love, I would love, oh, that's a cute house. I would love to be able to uh, snowbird kind of, sort of, and uh, just kind of follow the good weather and the sunshine and the riding, and uh, it'd be really, really cool. So, I really need to figure out what today is, but this road's a little too curvy and I, I don't feel like dying. Uh, we are going to go straight, kind of, sort of, and not go right. Even though I'm going to end up on that road, kind of, sort of, anyway, we're going to go this way because it's a nice, gorgeous ride. Oh my goodness gracious, a washboard. Look, at that's just straight mud. Yeah, yeah. mud. Take out spider, now you just got muddy. Let's see if we can see the day. Ah, keep it on the road, the 21st. And it's really cool. I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna need glasses. So I can't see anything like from here to my, nope, can't see it. <laughs> so it's always terrifying trying to find out what the date is. I should probably look before I hop on the spider. That would fix a lot. And then uh, Beanie Boy, he uh, he dropped a comment. He's like, it seems like you ride where there's not a lot of traffic or there's not a lot of traffic where you ride. And, uh, you know, I kind of, I don't, I don't look for roads that don't have a lot of traffic. It's just, you know, in Southern Ohio, there's just nothing down here. Oh, look at the baby motorcycle. And uh, I am, I'm extremely lucky that, uh, I do. I, I, I get to ride. Look at all the water. The water was up over, flowing across all that. I'm telling you, we had a ton of rain last night. A ton. But, uh, yeah, I'm lucky. I, I need to worry more about animals than uh, people on my rides. I have not been on this road for a minute. I should probably slow down just a little bit. I need to go down that road one day yeah man it's just it is super gorgeous um i'm kind of getting out early it's only 11 o'clock uh we were supposed to get a ton of rain today oh look people have been coming across the trail um so i'm in like the wayne national forest area and they have um trails all throughout here if you have like a dirt bike or quads or side by sides you just ride and i am not good enough to uh take the dual sport down them but i will one day um and I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, it's, it's early. It's like 11. I haven't been out this early, you know, in a long time if I'm just going for a ride. And I absolutely love it. 
so where I live in Ohio, yet another great, great, awesome thing about Ohio is the humidity is quite crazy. So you step out of the door and it's just like you're hitting a sauna. You're stepping into a sauna. So for everybody out west in the high desert that doesn't experience humidity, it uh, <laughs> it sucks. It uh, takes your breath away. Um, but yeah, like today, it's, it's very humid, but it's cool. So like the air around me is cool, um, but it's wet. Like I feel like I have mold growing on my skin. It's quite weird. Like it, it feels wet uh, just because the humidity is so high and it's 75 degrees. So you can get a day where you're like, I need to wear a long sleeve something, but it, it's so humid that it's not comfortable to wear a long sleeve. It's quite weird. Monday Crick. I need to see about Monday Crick. I follow that thing everywhere and it goes into uh, the Hawking River just north of uh, the plains. But everywhere I ride, it, I cross that thing all the time. Maybe I should uh, venture out on my rides and ride somewhere different. But it's kind of hard, you know, when you uh, only have the weekends and you're, you're riding after work if you can. You only have so much time. Like I said, I've, I've really gone from uh, an everyday commuter to uh, a weekend warrior. And uh, I am not, not digging the weekend warrior stuff. A lot of debris from the trees, I'm telling you. Oh, my wife called me this morning. Oh, this is this is a funny story. And uh, I got to tell you, and hopefully she sends me some pictures. She says she was going to. So she's in Pittsburgh. She has a dear friend that used to live in Lancaster. She moved to Pittsburgh. Enough of the backstory. Um, so my wife went <laughs> yesterday. She calls me this, this morning about 9, which is really unique for my wife to call me when she's with her girlfriend. Um... <laughs> But she calls me this morning and she's like, hey, we were almost struck by lightning. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, you know, we're out on her back porch, which I guess is an elevated or a second story type of back porch. And uh, it was this morning and these storms that we had went through Pittsburgh and a lightning bolt struck so close to them, it threw mud up on them. So there was some type of metal rebar or metal device leaning up against a, a privacy fence and the lightning then struck that metal piece because it was elevated you know in the air so it was a great conductor for the electricity and as that went through that metal rod and into the ground it blew stuff not only all over them but completely covered her neighbor's car so hopefully i can get some photos and I'll put them in to show you. And I was just like, oh my goodness. You know, because I always was told that, you know, if if you're in a, a lightning storm and you start to like tingle or the hair, the little hair stand up on you, you know, you need to get down. And I was like, so did you tingle? Did you feel anything? And, and she maybe didn't understand what I was saying, but she said she really didn't feel anything. And it just let loose and covered them with mud which is nuts. Um, apparently it blew a plank off of the privacy fence too. Um, but they're okay. Uh, she has a great story to tell now. And hopefully my... Yeah, we're still recording. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just was like, oh, okay. What do you say about that? Um, I mean, I, I told her that hell was coming for her. But... Uh, <laughs> Because you got to joke about it. She didn't think it was very funny. I thought it was freaking hilarious. Look at this. Boom, boom. Come on, grab another gear. I'm asking too much. Look at this crazy gravel. Boom. Coming into New Straitsville. And there's a... A little campsite. Remember how I said there's a bunch of trails down through here? Um, there's a little campsite off to my right. Oh, look at them abandoned houses. As I get the hiccups. Campsite. And I think there's some permanent people that live here as well.
but yeah, they uh, they come down. You see all their quads. Oh, look at that. I wonder if he would let me look in that. They got someone teaching them how to ride. I mean, this just looks freaking fun. I dig it. And then how you access this part of the trail is there's a, a gravel road back through here. Yeah, there's a, right along that fence. Yeah, right down in here, that little cross, little cross road. And that's how you access this part of it. So on that, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thumbs up if you like the ramblings today. Stay safe. See you down the road. I'm going to get back to listen to some music. Later, everybody. Oh, look at that pretty bird. Hi, pretty bird. Don't worry about the lines. That's okay. That's okay. That's how you drive when you're in southern Ohio. Those are... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, all the debris. Uh, okay, I'm letting everybody go. See ya.